The goal is to give voters more choices and to stop dirty politics in campaigns. It would take away Republican and Democrat ballots and instead allow a voter to rank their top choices from one to four. And it also would require a candidate to receive more than 50 percent of the vote to win. The politics are toxic in that building right now. It's called the Better Elections Amendment. This type of instant runoff and open primary voting, cities around the country have used it for a long time. This type of voting has been around for over a century. And voters could soon have the choice to change Missouri's election process, allowing people to rank their top four choices on the ballot. Instantly, we can find out who can get a majority of affirmative votes. It's very positive. You're voting for someone. You're not voting against people. We're not toxically attacking people. Scott Charton with Better Elections says top four vote getters in statewide primary elections, like the General Assembly, the U.S. Senate, and Congress, would go to an instant runoff on the November ballot. By being chosen by more people, it means you've got to campaign for every vote. Voters who get ignored now, you have to pay attention to them under better elections if you're a candidate. Current state statute, candidates don't have to receive 50% of the vote to win. But under the referendum, the process repeats until one nominee is left with more than half of the votes. If your top contender or the top preference gets eliminated or doesn't get, if finishes fourth in that field, they would drop off and your second choice vote gets reassigned to your next choice. If on the November ballot and approved, voters could see the changes in 2024. Charton says it also increases election security. And require that there would be a paper trail on your vote when you vote. That's just sensible. We require that voting machines be checked before they're used and verified. Voters wouldn't have to rank the four candidates if they didn't want to. Organizers like Charton have until May 8th to get the required signatures needed to put the question on the November ballot. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.